Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Let's just make it right. So uh, tonight I wanted to do a quick video for you and take you along for a ride. I am um, in Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 with Sim Update 2 Beta. Um, they've just made a second release of the beta, or another update to Sim Update Beta, if you will. It's now version 1.4.9. It was 1.4.7. Um, one of the things that I noticed um, that tonight when I got in here to start um, going for a flight is under settings, they have um, frame generation as an option. So I got out of the game and I un uninstalled the frame gen mod. I have an EVGA 3090 graphics card. And if you're, you've are you been following along or um, been involved in the flight sim community for a while, um, NVIDIA's frame generation is hardware-based, AMD's is um, software-based. So someone had developed um, a mod that you could install if you were running a 20 series or 30 series graphics card that used the um, AMD software, if you will, to make frame gen work in Flight Sim 2020 and in 2024. So I've gone ahead and uninstalled that mod because I have a suspicion that a Sobo has thrown in the towel and they just decided to implement this natively in the sim. So let's get set up for a flight. Um, once I get the flight set up, I'll turn the in-game um, FPS counter on. So let's go to South America. I like flying over mountainous areas. Let's take a few seconds to load this up. Okay, we'll go to settings, under advanced options, under developer mode, you toggle this on. Up here, this new menu, go under debug and display FPS and hit save and back. And as a little side note, um, you'll notice here everything on mine is in green. And this is ideal. So this means two things. If everything is green, that means everything is operating at over 60 frames per second, your CPU and your GPU. And then once you get that done, you can dial in your settings to get your latency for your main thread to closely match your latency for your GPU. And you can see mine are pretty close. And what that does for you, if you notice this green bar here, there's very few uh, yellow blips. Those yellow blips are latency between your CPU and your GPU. So if you can reduce those um, down as much as possible, you'll have a smoother experience in this sim. So that's a little bit of a, a sidebar. So I'm pulling in around um, 73, 74 FPS. Let's now go in and see if this works. We'll put it over to um, AMD FSR 3. I'm going to try it on balanced. I'm going to hit save and go back. And wow, look at that. That is awesome. I'm going to give credit where credit's due. Good job, Asobo, for, um, for implementing this for us. I no longer have to mess around with... Um, not that it was a big deal. They made it easier and easier to do the frame gen mod. But still, it was a couple extra steps that is no longer required. That is fantastic news. I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, let's go try flying over um, a little bit more dense of an area. No better place to test it than over uh, the Big Apple. So we'll go up there. And we'll see what kind of results we get here. Okay, and as it settles down, um, let's see. There it goes. Okay, that's still decent. Um, 115, let's call it, 115 frames per second over New York City. Um, you'll notice this is uh, red now. So half of... Uh, F0115 is 57-ish, uh, 58, so not quite 60 frames per second. 
which is why this is uh, red, not green, like it was over South America in the mountains. But still, um, very playable. Looks very, very good. And in case you're wondering what my uh, graphic settings are, in case you're wondering what my graphic settings are, uh, I'm going to show those to you. So you can see I have everything set to Ultra or High. And my train level detail and object level detail are around 200. So pretty impressive results um, with that FrameJad mod being implemented. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. I hope they do the same thing for uh, 2020. We'll see. I haven't gone in and launched that sim today to uh, see if it's now um, implemented in that one, but I'm hopeful. Well, folks, I'm going to end the video there. Like I said, just a quick one just to show you that um, progress in this sim is being made, and it's uh, pretty exciting. Hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, everyone.